India is going to build its biggest and toughest projects yet. Here's a project that even before it was built was objected to by China. This project would cost at least 40,000 crore and will cover the entire LAC next to Arunachal Pradesh. India has initiated a massive infrastructure undertaking, the Arunachal Frontier Highway. So how long is the highway? A 2,000 kilometer long road that follows the McMohan line will begin from Margo in Arunachal Pradesh, adjacent to Bhutan and pass through Tawang, Upper Subansiri, Tuting, Mejuka, Upper Siang, Dibang Valley, Desali, Shalagam, Kibitu, Dong before ending at Vijayanagar near the Myanmar border. Why is this project important to India? With this project, Arunachal Pradesh will get three national highways, the Frontier Highway, the Trans-Arunachal Highway and the East-West Industrial Corridor Highway. Six vertical and diagonal inter-highway corridors totaling 2,178 km will be built to provide missing interconnectivity between the three highways as well as to provide faster access to border areas. You know how important the project is when China begins to object to it. The project was pushed by Law Minister Kiran Rijiju in 2014 when he was the Minister of State for Home and looking after border affairs. That same year, the Home Ministry set the ball rolling for the project by asking the Ministry of Roads, Transport and Highways to prepare a detailed project report. But China had raised objections to the project in 2014 itself after it came across reports that the proposal got preliminary nod from the Prime Minister's office. Good news is, the work has already been started in certain sections with the state-of-the-art equipment deployed to fast-track the whole process. The Arunachal Frontier Highway will be a huge capability jump for the military since it will allow seamless and faster movement of both men and equipment to the border as and when needed for induction and de-induction. The proposed highway along with other ongoing projects will provide a huge boost to the Army's capability and almost all military exercises in the Northeast. It will also boost economic prosperity in the region.